Hello everyone, today we're standing with Fermin, aka Batata. I want to give you a little bit of a background. He is one of the best coaches of Dubai. Fermin, uh, tell us when did you start playing paddle tennis? What got you into it? A little bit about yourself. I started paddle at a very young age. I was uh, only four. I started as a hobby, of course, playing as a kid with my dad. And I started because of that. Like my bo both parents, they used to play in Argentina. And then I started just for fun, and then it became more like my passion. And then after a few years later, it became my job as well. Generally, how easy or difficult it is for somebody new to start this sport? Well, actually, I think uh, this is the main reason why paddle is growing that fast, yeah. because it's so easy to start. Actually, the people will start always as a game, not as a sport. Yeah. Same like when you play in your house ping pong or something like that. Yeah. But at the end, the people realize that the sport is very social and then, and then to become good is very difficult. Yeah. So I would say it's super easy to start. Everyone can do it, even if you don't have any racket sport background. At what age can you start your children to start paddle tennis? And also, is there any age limit? You know, somebody who's 45, 50, can they also be attempting to play the sport? I started when I was super young, playing with, with my parents, and it was super fun. So at the age of four or five, you can already start playing uh, as, a, as a game. Yeah. And there is no limit. Actually, you mentioned 45 as, a, as an old uh, age for playing, because in most of the sport it is. Yeah. But Bela itself, he's 42, 42 and he's still winning professional tournaments. So, yeah. So, there are a lot of uh, people playing and they are 60 and not in a professional level, yeah, yeah. but Pretty they sure. can have fun. What is the best way to get started? Like, what is the approach? They go to a court, how do they do it? What's the best approach of learning the game, figuring out what, what to play and how to start? Exactly. Well, normally, I, the people sometimes they find the difficult the, to find the people to play with. Yeah, yeah. I always tell, like, even if you are with your family or whatever, just go because uh, from the day one, Every single person who try paddle, they have fun, yeah. which is at the end the, the main reason why every single amateur player uh, should, should, should play, right? Sure, because sure. to have fun. Sure. So I believe that when the people give a chance and they try it, then it's difficult to, to stop. Yeah. For the intermediate players like myself or people who have been playing paddle tennis you know, for a couple of years, as a coach, what are your tips of how you can become better? Definitely the most important thing is to understand the game, what to do in the court, because some people, they really focus on the technique, especially the ones who have the background from tennis. And being honest, the, the technique in paddle is not that important. So I definitely recommend the people in the intermediate level yeah. to watch a lot of tournaments and see how the, the good players uh, do the right job and try to understand more the tactics of the game. This definitely helps you to increase your level. Thank you so much, Batata. This is Gulf News uh, Paddle with Adil. Really happy to be having you on our show. Thank you so much for having me.